Okay, I think I'm all set up to go. Where is Chatty? Nope, that's Discord. Alright, there we go. We're going to continue on from where we left off yesterday. Hey Doug, what's going on? Yeah, I'm finally back. Nice. Yeah, I only just got my PC fixed within the last week or two. That was why I hadn't been streaming in so long, was because my PC was down. Oh crap, Grinaldo. Forgot about that. My processor died. say it's like FX4830 or something like that, but I'm not completely sure. Come on, kill it.
Okay, I was a bit off on what one I have. It's the AMD FX 8350. It's an 8 core, 4.0 gigahertz. I love when Squall does that. Says who? Let's see. I'm trying to remember what happens next. Shit, I only have four cards. Damn. If I remember right, I gotta go back to my bedroom area. Dormitory area, whatever they call it. Yep, there it is. Thought I remember that being in there somewhere. Okay, that's the basic. Let me save. You'll probably notice if you watch long enough, I tend to save every time I find a save point, or close to it. Try to go out the in gate.
I always thought the faculty must have huge pockets to be able to just suddenly put it in their pocket like that. save first.
I always enjoyed 8. I didn't really play in any other ones, but I enjoyed 8. Like, I've played a little bit of 7. Like, once I finish my playthrough of this, 7 will probably be the next one I try to do a playthrough of. Yeah, I still play Super Card. Oh shit, Squall's dead. Cast the wrong thing. Yep. This is why I always save. I'm actually just playing the PC version through Steam.
I don't remember this battle being this annoying before. I guess it's been that long since I did it. Ah, shit. I didn't want something to do a regular attack. Squall is dead and Siren is dead too.
best with Squall. Okay. system you have to draw magic a lot or refine it somehow Obviously I'm not trying to do any kind of speedrun or anything, so <laughs> I can take the time to draw magic.
Oh, that's good. My game crashed. <laughs> that's the other reason I save a lot. Now it's two cards I've lost. Damn it.
Fuck bites.
There we go. through an underwater tunnel to get to timber. Pretty cool, huh? Sure is. Guess you're not interested. By the way, Squall, you have to use the ticket to get inside. Okay, we can go inside now. Ready check. Confirming. Access granted. I'm gonna go check out the front. Teehee, thanks. Let's go check it out, Squall. Yo, check it out. So this is Steed's private cabin. Whoa. Oh yeah, awesome. I love trains. Train, train, take us away. Take us away, far away. To the future we will go. Pretty damn amazing it pays to be a member of Seed. Well, do you know anything about Timber? Not too much. Thought so, well let me fill you in. Timber used to be a country surrounded by deep forests. But 18 years ago, Galbadia invaded. Timber fell quite easily to Galbadia. So now Timber is under Galbadian occupation. It said there's a whole bunch of resistance actions, big and small. And? Nope, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Know It All Zell. Hey, no problem. I'm not feeling well. You should get some rest if you're tired. I'm really sleepy. You okay? Hey, huh? What the? Something's wrong with me too, I feel sleepy. What's going on? Ugh. What is this? Now we go to Laguna's world. Uh, look again, are you sure this is the right way? No, uh -huh.
the right way. Chill, man, it's cool. Alright, then, how about, how's about a drink? We're not just here for the booze, are we? We got a war to fight. So we'll get smashed and then we'll charge. Kairos, weird, ward, you two seem to misunderstand. I just want to have a friendly drink with you two. Let's see if I remember how to get to the bar. Eddie's, man. We're going all out tonight, right, boys? May I take your order? The usual. Me too. 
keep them coming. It's little Juna. Julia should be making her appearance soon. You going for it tonight? Yeah, go for it. Whatever, man. Can't you see she's working? Don't go back on your work. Come on, go wave to her. Give me a break. So you say, but we know you'll do it. Here, have a seat. I didn't think you'd actually do it. Your power popularity rating's gone up a point. <sighs> yeah, but you cut a pretty pitiful figure up there. I'd say you're about a minus three on the manliness scale. Say what you want. Sigh. Julie sure is pretty. Uh, huh? Laguna, we're taking off. Hey, what's the rush? It's on us tonight. Relax and stay a while, Laguna. May I? Ah. Did I interrupt anything? No, 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 not at all. Please, sit down. You okay now? Kind of. How's your leg? The leg? All this? Yeah, it's fine. Happens all the time when I get nervous, cough. Were you nervous? Oh yeah, I'm still kinda. Relax. You don't have to get nervous around me. Oh, sorry. Say, would you like to talk somewhere private? I have a room here. In, in your room? Well, pretty hard to talk freely here. Everyone's listening in. If you'd like to, please come by. I've been wanting to talk to you. You don't want to? Of course I do. I'll go ahead and wait for you. Ask for my room at the front desk, okay? My dream. This is a dream. This is a dream. Just the two of us. Get it together, Laguna. Whatever. I always screw up by talking about myself too much. It's always been like that, but not tonight. I'm all ears for Julia. I'm going to use my lunch charm and help Julia with her problem.
so soon we haven't even talked yet. No, it's not that. It's just that I'm a big fan of yours. I'm really kind of nervous, you know. That's why you come to hear me play so often. You, you saw me. <laughs> you were always smiling while listening, right? You have beautiful eyes, though they look a bit scared now. Don't worry, I'm not gonna pluck them you. I just wanna talk, gazing into those eyes. Would you like a drink? Wine, perhaps? I must be dreaming. Yeah, I don't like fighting too much, but you get to travel, you know? Seeing new places and stuff. And it's fun, because Kairos and Ward are always with me. Hey, we should all go out drinking sometime, what do you say? And, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I want to quit the army and become a journalist. So I can tell people about all the things I've seen on my travels. He's already lived up. So like the other day, one of my articles made the readers call him. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was way cool. I'm happy for you. Oh yeah, and then... Yikes, I'm talking too much again. Tell me about yourself, like your dreams for the future. I, I want to sing, not just play the piano, but sing, too. Oh, I'd really love to hear it. But I can't, I'm no good at writing lyrics. Hmm, that must be tough. But thanks to you, I think you can come up with something. Thanks to me? Yes. Many faces you've shown me. Times when you were hurt, worried, or felt pain deep inside you. Your smile, your face, your eyes. You've shown me something. I think I can come up with a song. Wow. I must be dreaming. It's not a dream, is it? Laguna, New Orleans, meet Biden presidential residence on the double. Can we meet again? Of course, I have to come here to sing. Timber announcement. Next stop, Timber. Timber. Next stop, Timber. Timber. Hey, Blader, what's going on? Were we all asleep? Maybe someone released some sleeping gas? There's lots of people who resent seed. Maybe, better be careful. Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? I don't think so. What a relief. Not all that much. Gee, I had such a nice dream. We'll be arriving in Timber shortly. For those getting off, please be sure you have all your belongings. But seriously, Sir Laguna was so cool. Hey, there was a Laguna, Laguna in my dream, too. He's all got bit, a Galbadian soldier, right? Laguna, Kairos, and Ward. Huh? That's it. That's what? There's no way we can understand this. Let's just concentrate on our first mission. We'll put this incident on hold. I'll report it to the headmaster once we get back to garden. Here we go. Sight yourself up, baby. Ooh, still sleeping.
Owls are still around. Welcome to Denver, sir. Come with me, sir. Please, please, this way, sir. So, you guys are seeds? I'm a squad leader, Squall. This is Zell and Selfie. Nice to meet you. I'm the leader of Forest Allies. Not really, Blader, because I don't currently have a team. Let's get on with it. What do we do? Just take it easy here. Let me introduce you. Let me introduce you. Looks like you already met lots. I guess it's just our princess then. It's the princess is not damn sir. Oh man. Hey Squall, sorry. Could you go get the princess? She's in the last room up those stairs. All of our other guys are in the room on the way. Ask him if you get lost. Were we hired to run errands? Well. Are you angry? We're not good for us overseas. Special forces. Because I didn't join my old team after season 3 came out. Because I thought I'd get my old team, my original team back together. But when I created it, nobody joined. Of course, I wasn't. All, I was also not streaming at that point. So I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks I'll manage to get on a team, or maybe the team I was last on will have an opening and I can get in. Because by the time I looked at them, they were full. This is the last time for this kind of thing. Oh. Hey, you're, you know, from the party. So, does that mean you're a seed? I'm Squall, squad leader. There's two others with me. Yes, Seed is here. Take it easy. It's just that I'm so happy. I've been sending requests to, gar request to garden forever, but nothing. I'm so glad I spoke to Sid directly. Oh, so you were looking for the headmaster at the party. You know Cypher? Yeah. Well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Seed would come out to help a measly little group like us. But after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go-ahead right away. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Yes. I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go. Um, Squall? Is he here? He? Cypher. No, he's not a seed. Oh. Oh yeah, my name's... Noah. Very pleased to meet you, Squall. Seed members dance quite well, don't they? Approach your target suspiciously at a dance party. There may be missions requiring this sort of subterfuge. It's expected a seed to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work related. That's too bad. And she did not get the sarcasm. 
Here, let me introduce you. This is my partner. Angelo is really smart. Here, let me tell you. Smart, huh? That's more work to do now. Be good, Angelo. Okay, I'll meet you there. Parts of it can be calming. Others, it's a uh, sort of like uh, intensive music. Depends on the situation. Thought there was a. Hmm. I could have sworn there was a magazine in this room. Did I already get it, maybe? No, I have only one, but... But why? Sorry, just give me a moment. I'm looking for why I can't find this. Uh, magazine. This it should be on the bed. What the hell? Uh, okay, I'll just move on and then try again after the first part of this. This is Zell. and selfie. Hi everyone. This way. Just stand anywhere you want. This is a full scale operation. Our resistance to forest owls will be forever known of ages of timber's independence. Exciting, huh? All star when we got a hold of top secret info from Galbadia. I got the info, sir. There's a VIP coming from Galbadia coming from. Yeah. Try that again. There's a VIP coming from <laughs> one more time. There's a VIP coming from Galbadia coming to Timber. Super VIP. The guy's name is Vinzer Delling, our arch enemy and a president of Galbadia. Vinzer Delling is a scoundrel. He's a dictator, not a president. Not even popular in Galbadia, sir. President Daling is taking a private train from the Galbadia capital. Our plan is to... 
Well, does another range with a rocket launcher? Uh, not quite. So get to the point, just tell us what to do. Shall we begin? First, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding in it now. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it to look just like the president's car. Their train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Dayling should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with their president's car. We'll use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm going to explain the set procedures in seven steps. One, sneak on board the second escort. We'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. Two, proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. The second escort car is the only one that is equipped with sensors, sir. A high tech officer is on board. I'll talk about sense I'll talk about the sensors later. Proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Dalen hates the company of his guards and, being, and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. 4. Uncouple the first escort car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't, boom, game over, right? Yeah, so we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. 5. Have the dummy car in our base move in after uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, we'll have the dummy car and our base move in. At this point, our train and air train will be linked together, linked and be moving together. Uncouple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will be similar to the first one. Escape with the president's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront dealing. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point. It'll be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes. You sure that's enough? According to the simulation that we ran, it should only take three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake for siege, right? Of course. Too easy. Okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensor, so move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying a sensor. The temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one, sir. When the guard opens the blinds, that means he is checking the sensor, so be careful. The range on these sensors equal the length of one window, so keep an eye in. So keep an eye on the window below, sir. So exactly how do you avoid them? Basically, run or stop, depending on which guard is below you. Stop if there is a blue guard below you. Run if there is a red guard below you. That's about it for the sensors. Now let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. And here's where I need to take a second. I had to move the window around so I could see my controls because I'm using an Xbox controller. Next, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question. How can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we connect, if we temporarily disconnect... If only I could talk today. If we temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. We have the codes. Vanilla has them, sir. I'll be in charge of relaying the, the codes to Squall. Squall, you'll slide down on the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Now I need you to listen carefully. Each code is made up of numbers between 1 and 4 and has 4 digits. 2, 3, 4, 1 is an example. Let's just confirm that. Let's see. Y is button 4. B is button 2. A is button 1. X is button 3. Okay, good. I 
have my buttons mapped right. <laughs> uh, each crow is made up of numbers higher here at that. But the keypad won't have numbers, instead I'll have four buttons. B1, B4, B2, B3. For instance, if I relay the code 3124, you'll push B3, B2, B1, B4 in that order. You'll have to be quick and precise, you have about five seconds to enter each code. Otherwise, the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. So like we said, we have to enter all the codes and disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Exactly. We only have five minutes to do our things, so make sure that you're prepared. Okay, let's try let's try practicing entering the code. Enter three codes and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down B5. 
let's know early. We'll see what comes. Alright, I'll watch the blue guard. I'll take her out. The red guard is close. Well, you might want to keep an eye to hold down B5. Which is left. Left. Look to your left, at least with the back. Okay, I read it in the codes. Remember everything, right? Look at the three codes and disable the circuit for something. Okay, spot, get the cable ready. Just be in there, goes down there, again, and press down the direction of the button to go down. Come back up, and stuff, and we'll be able to come up while you are in the area code, so be careful. Okay, let's do it. We have four minutes left, good luck, spot. I need to update my approximate dream schedule because I'm sure it's not correct anymore. <laughs> Considering it was like five, six months ago that I had last dream before yesterday. Finally, we've 
you, it's a long for this encounter I've been through. Is that perfect, sir? Amazing, sir. You're the best, sir. Cedar, what a platform. Well then. You can tell me it's up to me, sir. Down with this upset stomach again. You three, tell me when you're ready to go. So if you're ready, I'll begin serious negotiations with the president. Serious negotiations. Better make sure my GF's equipped. Of course I did later. That's an easy one. This will be the harder one. President Delling, as long as you don't resist, you won't get hurt. And if I do resist, what would you do, young lady? Huh? What's wrong? Too, too, too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call the body double. All these rumors about the many resistance groups in the universe. Pass along a little false information they fall for. How pathetic. Seems like there are only amateurs around here. Amateurs? Uh, my butt hurts from all this and a young lady. Uh, so what did you have in store for me had I resisted? Why don't you tell me? Quite amusing though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult the president? Oh yeah. That was a terrible boost. At least I didn't screw it up at all. But... Here we go, here comes the tough part. Well, not really. It could be tough if I didn't know the trick to it. What the? Helps when you use the 
things down on the right first. I wasted a phoenix down by mistake, but... Man, I can't believe the president was a fake. I can't believe we fell for it. Info, sir. New info. It's big news. I found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. The president's going to the TV station. Security's super tight, sir. The TV station? Why in Timber? They can broadcast just as easily from Galbadia. Do you think the Dalit communication tower has anything to do with this? What's that? Dalit has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. It's been abandoned for a long time. The Galvatian got, army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV station that can handle broadcasts over the air is in Timber. Other stations use HD cable, which only supports online broadcasting. So what's that supposed to mean? They're planning on using radio waves. This way, they can transmit images to regions without cable. I know that. Why well, I want to know, what is the president going to broadcast? I use radio waves. There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What can it be? Everybody, love and peace. <laughs> I love how everybody was just like, oh, really? If I remember correctly, radio rays haven't been used in 17 years. It's been that long. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could, could be the Declaration of Timber's Independence? Hey, that might be possible. Let's come up with a plan then. Can you guys give us a minute? We've come up with a plan. <laughs> Before we get into that, can I see your contract with our guard? Oh, sure. What's it say? Talon Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A, acknowledges the Forest Owls. Hereafter referred to as Party B as the hiring party. Seed, hereafter referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under his supervision. The hell? I don't get it. Oh yeah, that one's pretty confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. Sid is such a nice man. What's it say this time? To the Forest Isles, this seed deployment contract will last until Timber achieves independence. Please make good of use of each seed member. I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception and no replacement of any, any seed members can be made. Balangarn, Headmaster, Sid Kramer. Till Timber's independence. That is so vague. Hey, for paid professionals, no complaining. Okay, let's decide on the parties. 
Gathering information is my specialty, sir. So the four of us, the ones who will be heading to the QB station, will be... Um... I think I'll take this out. Prison began imprisoning the Albanian anti-government sympathizers just as they did in Timber. Moreover, leaders of the resistance movement faced the threat of having family members imprisoned as well. Around this time, Delling began surrounding himself only with loyalists, which turned him into an even more fierce dictator. Any more? Final issue. With the exception of Astar, the Albanian military possesses the world's only long-range missiles. Although never used in combat, their existence has become a worldwide threat. It is said that the missiles have the ability to hit any target with astounding accuracy, even without using radio signals. Will the time come for the president to push the button? When the time, ta time comes, time. The friend explored on the last part. Oh, I already read that one. station, sir. It's quite close if you take the local train. The local and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. There must be someone in town who knows. Are you ready, sir? Yep. Best of luck, sir. I'll be keeping watch here. Here we go. Got bad over. A guy dressed as a cadet gathering information. He was asking about the president's day. I found it strange that a cadet would keep asking about the president. He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. I think I know who you're talking about. He was taking care of three suspicious looking characters from Balam. I'll go question every teenager in the area. No, we just can't go up to anybody and... Ahem, <clears throat> these are sinisters. We can't inflict any... How dare they get, try to kidnap the president? Alright, Blader, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. How dare they try to kidnap the president? Not only is it disrespectful to the president, but also to us Galbadian soldiers as well. I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail. Ahem, these are citizens. We can't inflict any. Please. It happens, Blader. I have the same problem when I try and type from my phone. Please, hear me out to the very end. Say, so, hey, I remember now, sir. I think the TV station is located behind a building called Timber. Please head in that direction, sir. I hope you find it. What? Come on, the Galbadian soldiers are coming. Lots of guards patrolling the city now. Please be careful, sir. Seems like the hotel's not available either. Should you need to recover, use the owl's tier, sir. Heard it works wonders. I believe you can find it at the old man's house. Guess you won't be needing it anyway. You're all seeds. You'll be fine, right, sir? Hey! Don't leave me, sir.
won't travel about his dreams This morning's dream, yesterday's dream, childhood dreams Big mistake Hey guys What advice, you're still young, don't like your life, I should buy Times have I told you not to take money from people? Ah, uh, slob. I, I reduced twice from 1,000 gil. Oh, slob. Thought about the money, I didn't raise you this way. I can't wait to have a good time, and now, trains are no longer running. 
can't even stay in a hotel because of some stupid official. They're asked like a batty of soldiers. I had my precious card stolen. This hasn't been my day. Those jerks. They think they can use brute force to get anything they want. Hell, this town's a good example. Yeah. Everything's jacked up because the resistance tried to kidnap the president. Thanks to them, the trains have stopped. Them. They just got batty and soldiers all over the place. All because of them. Don't they understand I'm the one suffering from the ruthless actions? Stupid bonehead, good for nothing, resistant. You can kiss my. Hey. You don't understand anything. Resistance is fighting for Timber's future. They're all doing the best they can. It's the Gabanian soldiers and their leader who are at fault. Shish. is influential, but it's better than nothing, right? We don't stand a chance we take them head on, right? Don't worry about us. We'll fight your enemies based on your decision. That's our duty. You tell us to go, we go. Even if it is a losing battle. How sad. Act on my decision. That's your duty. Oh, what an easy life it must be just to follow orders. Call it what you want. All we want is for you to achieve your goal using our help. But it's hard to believe you can do it, though. Well, what did you say? If you have something to say, just say it. Yeah, I'll tell you. How serious are you, really? The three of you plop down on the floor to discuss strategy. On top of that, you can't make a decision without our input, right? How do you think we feel working for such an organization? Sorry, guess I got a little carried away. You know, maybe this was all a big mistake. I thought everything would be fine once Steve came to help us. 
but I guess it's not that easy. You were all hired, it's not like you're one of us. Um, let's see, we'll cancel the plan, we'll disperse for now. We don't stand a chance if we take them on. Take them head on, right? So, you guys probably think this is like all a game to us. Well, it's not. We're serious. So serious, it hurts. Hey! Testing, one, two, testing, testing. Oh, people of the world, can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, this is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a recording. This is an actual broadcast over the air. Yes, it's been 17 years since a live broadcast has been possible. Oh, please, excuse me. I've seen or lost my composure. We would like to present to you today a message from the lifelong president of Galvati at Vinzer Delling. Ladies and gentlemen, President Delling. <laughs> Greetings, I am Vizzer Delling, lifelong president of Galvadia. Today, I stand before you to make the following proposition. We, the people of this world, have the power to end all wars. See, see, it's the peace proposal of the world, I knew it. Fortunately, there are some trifling problems to him between Galbati and other nations, and he must be resolved. I plan to convene with other nations' leaders immediately to resolve these problems. This time, allow me to introduce the ambassador who will be my representative for the conference. Man, all this just to introduce the ambassador. The ambassador is the sorceress. Sorceress? Hey, Cypher! What's he doing, Instructor Trepe? Stay back. Well, what are we gonna do? The last time, stay back. You're only gonna provoke him. Nothing. Our job is to assist the owls. It's none of our business. Give your team. Are you watching? Get over here right now. You have permission. I need your help. Squall. Squad leader. I get it. You're Renellis. Shut your damn mouth, chicken wuss. He broke out of disciplinary room, injuring many in the process. You stupid idiot. No, please. Be quiet. Instructor, I know. I'm gonna take this stupid idiot back to the garden, right? Shut up. No! I see. So you're all from garden. Should anything happen to me, the entire Galbadia military will undoubtedly crush guard. You can let go of me now. Nice going, chicken wuss. You and your stupid big mouth. Take care of this mess, instructor and Mr. Leader. You have to decide. Stay back. Boy, he was telling you to come. The adult he was telling you to back off. You can't make up your mind. You don't know the right answer. You 
want to help without you. You want to be saved from this predicament. Shut up. Don't be ashamed to ask for help because you're only a little boy. Besides, you're only a little boy. I'm not. Stop calling me a boy. You don't want to be a boy anymore. I'm not a boy! Come with me to a place of no return. Bid farewell to your childhood. Hey guys. We're Cypher. We don't know. He'll be okay, right? They found our base, it's completely destroyed. And everyone else? They're fine, they're good at escaping. We have to stay away from Timber for a while. Is there a safe place you can take me? This is an order. Order from your client, remember? No, I heard your base is in serious trouble. More of my place until things settle down. I appreciate it, thank you. What are you waiting for, Squall? Come on. This way. This is it. I'll let you know if anything changes. Tell them make yourself at home. Thanks, Chief. Chief? She's the leader of the Forest Fox. Almost everyone's a resistance member in this town. Right now, we're the only ones that are really active. Let's stay here for a while. I still don't get it. What did Cypher come here for? I think he came to help us, the Forest Owls. I talked about it a lot with him. So please, don't think too badly of him. Anybody in here? What is this? I have two small children in here. Don't do anything to frighten them. Upstairs, hurry. Will she be okay? She'll be fine. Legend goes that my mother took down many soldiers with her strength, cooking and beauty. That beauty part make sure makes it sound like a legend. So tired. Wonder if he'll if he's alright. He was so angry when he found out it was only three of you dispatched the timber. What? They might end up fighting the whole Covadian force. And all the dispatch are three rookie seed members? Damn it, I'm going to Timber. And 
everyone who guessed he was serious about it. Guys, all he's serious, you should know that by now. What's going to happen with Cypher? He may already be dead. How can you be so casual? I feel sorry for him. So funny. You're terrible. So, why do you think Cypher may already be dead? Because the President of Galbadia and his forces joined forces. Cypher attacked the President, and it's no surprise that Cypher may have been killed because of it. Even so, I still hope he's alive. As long as you don't get your hopes up, you can take anything. You feel less pain. Anyway, whatever you wish you have, whatever wish you have is none of my business. You're mean. Meanie. Her. Sorry. The Gabadian forces are withdrawing. Only soldiers normally stationed here will stick around. If you're gonna leave town, now's your chance. You know how persistent those soldiers can be. Out of here is only the first step. What do you mean? Garden code, Article 8, Line 7. Head for the nearest garden. Very good. From here, that would be Galbadia Garden. Take the train from here and get off at a station called East Academy. From there, we have to go through the west forest west of the station and get to Galbadia Garden. I've been there several times, it should be okay. Okay then. We'll escape from Timber and head to Galbadia Garden. Party will be. It's me, sir. It's me. Got some info, sir. Timber Station to south. Timber Station will be shut down temporarily. Mega bummer. Not necessarily. It's not completely shut down yet. The last train out of here is bound for East Academy. We're getting on that train. You're going too, right, Renault? Yeah, what about you, boss? Don't need to worry about me. I'll go gather more info. I promise I'll be back. You take care, okay? Squaw, so please take care of Renault. I'll be fine, sir. I'll put up a fight of my life. I'm happy, sir. Oh, it's 
Squall, it's me. Zone? Academy, right? There's no more tickets left. Super duper mega bummer. We'll do whatever it takes to get on that train. You don't have to do that. Looky here. I have everyone's ticket right here. One for you. Three for you. See people here. I'll go through a little later. And the last one is for me. Take it. I can't take that. It's yours. Ouch. Oops. My stomach. Ouch. Just get going. The train's leaving. Thank you. So, we're gonna see each other again, okay? No matter what, you have to survive. We have to liberate Timber together, remember? I know, I know. I'll go hide in a bathroom or something. Okay, go on. Last train's gonna leave soon. Bird splits apart when the train comes. You gotta make it across just as it splits. I'm start. One, two, three. One, two, three. Every time now, my heart jumps and my legs begin to shake. Not fast enough, that's why I always lose. Bodyguard located up ahead, is that correct? Indeed, glad we have a leader with good memory. Open, open! Make it, please. Open up. Confirming. Access granted. Teehee? Thanks. Get there shortly, so we all will be all right out here. Or are you just saying something important? Well, we made it. I have to thank Zone for that. He's into naughty magazines. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, I'll 
was just thinking. There might be some bad news from the Galvani government. What if we get caught and get broadcast to the whole world? Whatever happens, happens. Come on, let's just keep going. I, I'm worried about Valentine. If anything happens to Garden, it's all my fault. I'm the one who said we were all from Garden. You think the president will retaliate in Garden? Maybe. Figures. But, but we have a whole bunch of seeds at Valentine. They wouldn't lose the whole out of your army, would they? Depends on how strong the army is. I know, but... Oh, you're just a great leader, aren't you? Do you actually have fun acting so callous towards your comrades? I know. Because I want your support. Any kind of courage will make... That's just the issue, by the way. I don't think so. Oh, no, I'm sure it's like Do you ever worry about or even think about the well being of your comrades? I don't understand. Are you listening to school? What the? This sensation. You sure this is the place? Positive. I don't want to be patrolling the wrong place like last time. Ah, oh, sorry, this ain't the place. This is it. Let's go, Commander. I brought the wrong map. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Nah, everything's cool. Hey, make sure you guys are fully equipped. While we are on duty, let's make, get a move on and check things out.
destiny battle come true. Yeah, I think she did. What'd you say? I think his throat was injured. He lost his voice. It was cool. You. Say again? It was fun, you guys. Laguna Kai Rose. It was fun. Or that's why I'm cool. It's not cool to say things like that. Just so that you get a Gucci Gucci train. How's that? Uh, one more? Well. Check it out. A boat. We're getting on. A uh, vessel. They normally call it. Boat, vessel, whatever. We're going back to Galbadia. Sure, I've got you know how high this cliff is. Oh shit, no way. Is it Lagoon again? Sir Lagoon's in big trouble. Hope he'll be okay. This is too much first time for you all. What is this? We'll just be wasting our time trying to figure it out. Let's keep going. Yeah, I think let's go. Yeah, let's go. I think we're almost there. Um, it's ball. You may have said too much. I'm sorry. several times and I know the headmaster pretty well. I'll go and explain our situation. Wait. How'd it go? 
understand our situation. That battle guard is safe. The attack on the president in Timber was classified as an independent action. There was an official notice from Galbati and government saying that Balon Guard is not being held responsible. The so cipher's taken all the blame. The trial's over and a sentence has been carried out. He was executed? Of course he was. He attacked the president. He sacrificed himself for the forest owls. It was your group that got Cypher involved in all this. A resistance faction, right? We must have prepared for the worst. I'm sure Cypher was prepared too. So don't think of it as sacri Cypher sacrificing himself for you. I'm sorry, I guess that wasn't much consolation. I didn't like the guy, but executed? I don't have any good memories of him. I've seen some troubled children, but he was beyond troubled. Well, he wasn't really a bad guy. I really liked him. He was always full of confidence, smart. Just by talking to him, I felt like that I could take on the world. Your boyfriend? I don't really know. I I think I was in love. I wonder how he felt. Do you still like him? If I didn't, I wouldn't be talking about it. It was last summer. I was 16, lots of fond memories. So when I was only 17. You really hated Cypher, didn't you, though? Yeah, but he was regarded, he was one of us. If I can, I want to get revenge. supposed to go.
Yo, squall. What are you doing here? What am I doing? I'm a messenger, you know. Brought you an order from the headmaster Sid, you know. What kind of order? I don't know. Give it to the head honcho here. It just did what the headmaster Sid wanted, you know. We were supposed to go to Timber. The trains had stopped, so we had no other choice but to come here. I'm kind of relieved to see you guys here. Cypher? Oh yeah, wasn't Cypher with you? I believe Cypher may be dead. I heard he was tried in Galbadi and then executed. Lies. Ah, that's gotta be a lie, you know? There's no way he'd put up with a trial, you know? Or an execution for that matter. It's just so not safe for you know. God, he says you know too much. Fine. What? We're gonna meet up with Cypher. Well, see ya, Squall. We're gonna head off to Galbadi and look for Cypher. Galbadi's ultimate goal is world domination. Garden is no exception either. It is a fact that the sorceress is planning to use this garden as her base. We have very few offices available to us. We entrust world peace and future to you. Details of this mission are enclosed in these official orders. Sharpshooter from Galbadia Garden. Kinius. Irvine Kinius. I feel like I didn't pronounce that right. There is our final party member. This is our main. He will be your sharpshooter. Do you whenever you're ready? Failure is not an option.
Galbadia Garden. Where to? Assassinate the sorceress. We're a shooter from afar. Kinnius will be our sharpshooter. We're supporting Kinnius to our fullest. Should the sniper fail, we're going to attack head on. Next to support, but I may never miss my target. Eliminate the sorceress, that's our order. We're going to head to the capital of Galbadia, Daling City. There, we'll meet up with General Caraway to go over the details for the plan. Let's get going. Well then, I'll need to choose a party for the trip to Daling City. How's this? I'll be sad. Just leave him, come on. <laughs> he, he caught on. <laughs> this 
train, bound for Dealing City. We're departing shortly. This is the only train bound for Dealing City in anyway. England. Perhaps it's fate. So what do we do about him? Everybody just kind of went off, shouldn't you check? So I don't think we're destined to be again. to the train from that or minor vibration. Before a gamble of map to play to escape. 
here from the dungeon, but just remember, you see, call it a night there. Thanks everybody for joining me. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that follow button so you can be notified when I go live. Uh, I do plan to post this onto YouTube. Uh, if you don't already, feel free to follow me on Twitter. I usually try to post on there when I'm thinking about going live. I don't really have a true schedule for, lo for streaming right now because this is only my second night back since I got my computer fixed. Uh, again, thank you for joining me. Have a good night, guys.